What's going on, guys? Welcome back. And in today's video, we're going to be ranking every LEC team. And for this season's 2024 spring split of the LEC. Now, I know the LEC has some weird formatting, and we're not about to get into that. I'm just ranking the teams. I'll make another video on that if you guys want to, and I can explain the format in bigger detail. But we're just ranking the teams based on where I think they'll place. So, starting out, I believe that Carmen Corp will be your number 10th seed. Being the worst team in the league, I don't think they have as good as players. I don't think they compete as much. I just think they don't get to that level that they need to be to honestly compete with many other teams. I just don't think they have it. So next up, I think SK Gaming is going to be your ninth seed. Um, I think they're not as good as what they were supposed to be. I think the roster is even weaker now. It's just... They don't appeal to me as a team that's going to do anything. I would say Giants is in the same boat here. I, they look very just sloppy and not as interesting of a team. Like I, I, re, I get I'm throwing these new underdeveloped rosters onto the bottom, but I could also argue that Europe is the weakest of the Power Four regions in my opinion, and any of these bottom tier teams could be moved around. It's Europe is a 50-50 split region. Half of Europe's really good, half of Europe's not as good. So it kind of just depends on how much you think the credit of these teams deserves and how you want to order them. But let me know down below if I'm wrong. I mean, it is what it is. So I also would say Vitality is the start of the eh, teams where they, they, they could get wins off the higher teams, but they're not going to do as well as... Because, like, Vitality was the super team of Europe and then just completely fell flat with everything they had. So, I don't have much trust in this organization to pull something off with players that are good or bad. And I don't think their players are bad, I don't, but I don't think they're great and standout stars like the rest of the higher tier teams. I think BDS, despite their... They're pretty funny intros to each game and them actually making worlds and out-of-play-ins but then failing to do anything. I just don't think... They scrapped half the roster. The only thing they really have is Adam. And if Adam plays gods, maybe. You know, the gods meta is still a thing. Who knows? And with the new map changes, they could be really good. I just don't have a lot of hope for BDS being as good as people think they will be. And then I think Rogue is the start of your... Like... Oh, okay. They're starting to get to that... These are the decent teams. These are the teams that could vie for a championship. I'm not saying I think Rogue can. I just think that's the start of the 50-50 split, in my opinion. And then I think Mad Lions, of all teams, is kind of your dark horse team. I think this is the team that they don't have. They don't look great on paper. I mean, they, they're okay, but I don't think they're great. But they come in, and they just somehow find a way to win games, right? Like, it's that weird, what is Mad Lions doing? They're innovative, they're different. No matter how mediocre Mad Lions rosters have been, they seem to always be able to win to a degree, which I think is pretty good. So we'll have to wait and see. But I, I have a lot of faith in this roster. And then with that being said, I think your third seed, Fnatic. Um, it, Europe's a two-team region, right? Like It's Fnatic and G2. I just don't think Fnatic is as good. It, they've lost a lot of their talent I mean, they're not a bad team. I just don't think they're as good as they once were. I think they are they need to reset. And with that being said, the new kid on the block, Heretics, Perks, Yankos, and Wonder, uh, that's a roster. I, I, I think they generally have a lot of skill. I think they can contest with G2. Are they going to win? Eh, who's to know, right? But the point... I'm trying to make with this team is they have a lot more talent and I think a lot of people realize that but I think Heretics is going to be something we need to watch out for because we will be seeing Heretics at an international event this year I don't think they'll do much at these events maybe take a game or two off but they're, they're, they're going to be there and it'll be interesting to see how they react and ultimately I think G2 just runs away again it's just it's it's G2. I mean, they did beat T1. That was exhausted, so I won't give them too much credit. Like, they're not as good as people might think they are. And they did lose to NRG, so Europe, weakest power four region confirmed. But 
it's G2, and they're pr far and away probably the best European region, or best team in Europe, sorry. And I, I truly think that these guys will probably win. It's either going to be G2 or Heretics. I mean, maybe Mad or Fnatic, but they just, these, they, they don't, they look the strongest. I mean, I think Europe looks incredibly weak this season. But I don't know. You guys, leave your comments down below. Tell me what you guys think. Is my list wrong? Is it correct? Leave a like if it's correct. Comment down below if it's wrong. Subscribe if you want to see all the other videos I'm making about this and our weekly updates. And I will see you next time.